Hey guys, it's the Chad, and I'm here to talk to you about the 1967 to 72 GM hoods. Now, in 1967 to 72, that was the same body style for all six years for Chevrolet and GMC, but there were slight changes every two years. The hoods were no exception. Every two years, there were changes that would potentially not allow one hood to fit onto another year vehicle. So my goal is to help you identify which hoods for which make and which year you have just by looking at a photograph off a of marketplace, Craigslist, you know, a swap meet where you don't have cell phone service, or if you're going online to buy a brand new reproduction two inch cowl induction hood. You know, you don't want to waste a hundred bucks shipping to get it here and then find out it won't fit and turn around and have to spend another hundred dollars freight back. So kind of a waste of time and money if you ask me if you don't know what you're looking at. So if you find this beneficial, please hit the like button. Think about subscribing and we'll get started. So let's ID these hoods. We'll start with the 1967-68 first. So pretty easy to tell these from a side angle view is the leading edge of these hoods had a very steep angle to it. Didn't matter if it was Chevrolet or GMC. Whereas the 1969-72 to had a very vertical front leading edge to it. Now 1969 and 70 in the Chevy truck world they had a bright big blue bow tie in the center of the hood. In 1971 and 72, they didn't. That blue bow tie went down into the grill. Whereas GMCs from 69 to 72 would have the badging GMC across the front of the hood. Or you could go back here and we have a reproduction hood. This is for a 67 or 68 Chevy or GMC. We can tell that by the front angled leading edge. But this is a cowl induction. A lot of people like to go this route because it looks pretty cool, or they have a lot of horsepower and they need the clearance to get the hood down. Now, the only problem I've run into with aftermarket or reproduction hoods is the fitment's not quite there. I've always had better luck with original GM steel hoods versus going with fiberglass or a repop hood, but they look really cool. In the 69 to 72s, it would still, even if it was a reproduction and a cowl induction, it would still have this vertical leading edge and it would have the two inch cowl induction here. So subtle differences over the year, but there's no way you're going to get a 69 through 72 hood onto a 67 or 68 and vice versa. If you like the looks of the 67, 68 Chevy hoods, you're not going to get it swapped over unless you change the fenders out and the grills. So it does pretty much require a front clip swap if you're going to be changing from the 67 to 68 or the 69 to 72 body style. Hopefully you guys find some value in this. If you do, please hit the like button. Think about subscribing. I've got more videos to come out to show you how to ID other parts of these trucks as well. Thanks for watching.